Hello students, welcome to the channel and you are watching the ultimate English teacher and lecturer. Students, in this video, I will discuss about the summary of the story Silk Road by Nick Middleton, class 11, CBSA. Silk Road Summary The protagonist wanted to go to the Mount Kailas to complete the Koda. He hired Satan to drive him up to Mount Kailas. As a farewell gift, Alhamo gave him a long-sleeved sheepskin coat. He took Daniel as his companion till Darchen. When they started the journey, Satan took a shortcut to the southwest which was a direct route to Mount Kailash. They had to cross high mountain passes to reach their destination. Satan assured him that it would be no problem if there would be no snow. They crossed through few gazelles, a herd of wild asses and shepherds tending the flocks. When they reached the hill, they passed dark tents which were home for nomads. He saw a Tibetan mastiff standing outside the tent as a guard. These mastiffs ran after his car as he reached near the tents. These dogs had large jaws. As soon as they entered the valley, they witnessed snow-capped mountains with rivers flowing which were blocked with ice. When they were riding through the hill, the turns became sharper and the roads became bumpier. Satan was driving in third gear. The protagonist could feel the pressure in his ears. He held his nose, snorted to clear the congestions. He checked his wristwatch. They were at 5,210 meters above sea level. They reached their first hurdle which was a road filled with snow. Satan threw dirt on the snow and drove carefully on that road. They resumed their journey. The protagonist felt his head was hurting. He took a few sips of water from his water bottle. They were still climbing up the hill. They reached at 5,515 meters above sea level. They stopped again and this time the fuel tank hissed when Satan unscrewed the top. As the petrol was expanding due to low atmospheric pressure, Shetan told them not to smoke around 8. Soon in the afternoon around 2 o'clock, they stopped for lunch. The protagonist's headache was gone by now. By late afternoon, they reached a small town called Ho. They reached the east west highway again. It was the old route from Al Hasa to Kashmir. Daniel got off the car and took a lift to El Hasa. Their car had a few punctures which worried Satan. He got them fixed and the protagonist waited at a local cafe of Hoor while having a glass of tea. He found Hoor a miserable place. After a while, Satan reached to him and they resumed their journey again. At night around 10.30 p.m., they stopped at a guest house in Darchan. To spend the night, the protagonist got ill and suffered from nose congestion due to the change in attitude and cold weather. He stayed awake uh, all night. Next morning, Satan took him to Tibetan Medical College where uh, he consulted a Tibetan doctor who gave him a five-day course medicines in a brown envelope. After taking a full day of medicine, the protagonist was feeling good. Satan left him there after assuring his health condition. The protagonist was staying at Darchen. That place had a general store where Chinese cigarettes, soap and other things were available. In the afternoon, the men gathered at a shabby table to play pool every day. Women would wash their hair in the narrow streams. Darchan had one problem. 
it had no pilgrims according to the local people in the peak season of the pilgrimage the place would be filled with travelers he met a person in the darchin's only cafe his name was norbu who was a tibetan working in beijing at the institute of ethnic literature of chinese academy of social science he came to darchin to complete the kura just like the protagonist he was fat and found it difficult to work the protagonist decided to go on the pilgrimage with him they hired yaks to carry their luggages norbu finally said it is not possible for him while he collapsed across the table and laughed hilariously his tummy was also too big don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching